Okay. So now I'm going to use my NYX eyeliner and make a wing. I like a really like cat eye wing because I like, I like my eyes to be slanted. And we're just not cleaned up now. We're going to clean it up. Um, once we do our foundation. Yeah, once we do our foundation. The stuff that's not cleaned up now will be cleaned up. I take time on my makeup. I take because I like my makeup to look good. So I take my time on it. Uh, a lot of people have always asked me, how do you do makeup? Like, what are some tips? Like, what can we do? And that's what we want to start a YouTube. I want to help people. Because I get asked a lot about my makeup. And I'm self-taught. I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos. And before then, I was just trying to experiment on my own. I never took any official classes or anything. I just kind of like picked up a bunch of things just from here, being on YouTube, watching YouTube, and now being on YouTube. Um, hopefully, it helps me go out. So, that's our wing. And I will come back and show you what to do with my foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and prime my skin. I just got this today, so I never used it. Normally, I used the um, color corrector one. So, curious to know how this one works. Ooh, and it's clear. Yep, it's the brand I always used to use. They just changed the packaging. You just want to get that all in your skin, and I will come back once I have it. Okay, so now we have our primer on, and um, my Mac Studio Finish Foundation. Again, I don't put it on the back of my hands anymore because I have this. So I will show you how I apply my foundation. All my videos won't be this long or this talk through me. I mean, me talking, it'll probably just be me putting on my makeup and show you how it looks. I feel like I'm talking a lot. And I really don't even know how long this video is going to be until I edit it. I like to build my makeup. I don't just, you know, drip it on like a lot of people do. I know it's a popular method these days, but I like to kind of like see what I want to do a lot or a little or whether it needs it. You know, different times of the year, your skin requires different things. Sometimes it requires more coverage, and then other times it don't. And then I'm just gonna Blend it all in. You guys, I don't really like uh, eyeshadow on my bottom lids. I just don't. It's a personal preference. I know a lot of people do put the same colors that they put at the top at the bottom. I just don't like how it looks on me. I have very small eyes, and it just closes my eyes all the way up, so I don't typically do it that way. I need to make my pores look smaller, like how it clean. <laughs> we shall see. Now you want to tap it in because you want to get that foundation nice and nice and in the skin, without patches or without streaks. You want it to get in there, so you tap it in. And I really gotta make sure I get the top look because I always forget to get my top look and then wonder why I got like a dark spot. Okay, now I'll come back once I'm finished with all this. Like 
you can see everything. You can see all the little imperfections. Okay, there we go. So, now we can do the highlighting and contouring. Yeah, I promise my face isn't this long. It's just this camera all in my face. And I highlight with Fawn in um, LA Pro Consumer. When I want to really highlight it, look, if not, I'll do toast. It's like I'm going out in the daytime. all wet and moisturized to make our blending easier. I use Maria Badescu. consuming but if you want a really good blend a good highlight a good contour you'll put in like a lot a lot of people use beauty blenders i use it too i'm just trying a new technique i saw taylor made jane and her makeup looks absolutely flawless and she does not really use beauty blenders so i was like i want to try that too so i've been doing it this way and i like it too it really makes it look flawless I can only imagine this is what they did before beauty blenders even got popular. You know, people would have to use brushes. You know. And you didn't have the ability to just rely on a beauty blender. So it's good to know more than one technique anyway. You know. Especially if you want to make it far in the business, you want to always keep picking up tips and tricks and ways to make your application just better. I 
very dope, like a harsh contour of my nose either. I feel like my nose is like nice long shape anyway, so I don't really need to accentuate it. Let's take the I think I should use with this. I'm thinking a nice chocolate brown. I think it really set the colors off in the whole natural look. A chocolate brown. What y'all think? I know y'all can't really talk to me right now, but put it in the comment section. What color y'all think I should use for uh, for that good old lip color? Cause it's around this time when I start thinking about the lip colors. those lines like that so you tap 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 but that piece is smooth and blurred so you won't have that harsh nose contour i hate people who do that harsh nose contour it's like we can see that line y'all got no no we need to fix that <laughs> so you want to make sure that's blurred you don't want that harsh line because everybody know that's not your nose everybody know that that's a horrible attempt of trying to like make your nose look slimmer but we don't need that. We gonna blend in 2019. That's what we gonna do. I mentioned it blending. This is a tip I really don't see me do, but I do. And I think it makes my makeup just look a little bit different. Um, spread again, just to get it melting together. And then um, I take a blender, a 